All right, all right. Moving on to the next video with Tabs. This is Living with Rats. This was suggested again by Teddy. So again, thank you, Teddy, for suggesting this. Now, let's jump into this. We all got some type of pest in our house, right? Nah, nah, nah. I have Kinda. no clue what you're talking about. Like, mother dick. Why is what even is that? Some thing. kind of radioactive... Nope. Okay, listen. I'm talking regular pests. Uh -huh. The commoner's Pokemon. Like cockroaches, yeah. rats, yeah. fleas, yeah. your brother, toilet ah, snakes, hey. and hey. scorpions. Oh, oh hell no! <laughs> well, wow. that's not the worst of it. These wow. guys have a track record of showing up when you Lice? least expect it. Spiders? Uh-oh. <laughs> and yeah. Hey, how you been, Poppy Eight Legs? Yeah, okay, hey! that seems like a far-fetched reaction. But I actually have a fondness for spiders and like some blood-sucking mosquitoes I know. Because those guys are useless, come on. On the <laughs> contrary, I know a bunch of people who tend to overreact towards these lovely house guests. Like, where are your manners? Now you street bugging. If I see any cockroach or spider in my house, it's their house now. He can keep the car, the food, my PS4, <laughs> my wife, and my Yeezys too. Yo, yeah. screw that. I'm burning the whole house down. I get it. As cute as these guys can be, it's not like the fuckos are paying for any rent either. Though in this yeah. video, we're just going to be focusing on my experience with one type of vermin. Rats. Rats! Ew. Why them though? Because where I'm from, they're everywhere. Half our oh, city's population is made up of them. It's normal to have big booty rats <laughs> with fitted Yankee caps and tins <laughs> and dragging pizzas down the stairs. Yeah, so that's I found myself like, spending the yeah. holidays with these rats. Not by choice, of course. One of these times was with my roommates. That's right, we got another roommate story. Real Wait. quick introduction if you haven't watched the previous roommate uh, videos. This is Bubbles. Comment down below if you want me to watch Kumbaya. the previous videos. She could be a monk if she <laughs> wanted to. This is Diva, the sassy teen girl you know from every high school. I would not even be surprised if this girl secretly featured in Ariana Grande's Thank You Next video. And finally, okay. this is Megatron, the girl who's been done with everybody's shit the day she was born. <laughs> so, it was Thanksgiving night, Definitely and my roommates mix. and I cooked more than enough food to feed a starving family of Matt Stoney. Let's see how the rats Competitive are going to eater, by the way. After we nice. all looked like we just ate at Grandma's house, we decided it was time to clean up. While that was happening, I noticed a chicken bone stuck stuck in the vent. Well, okay, now I've right. seen all the shit. I went over to that take it out, but then right. suddenly the chicken bone started <laughs> Hey guys, look at the twerking <laughs> chicken bone. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's a mouse. Dava, the bathroom's open if you need it. Tabs, I hate mice. Oh my god, get it away. <laughs> Well, I don't want to move my bed. Mice and rats are two That's different right, things, the but whatever. God's sake. The chicken bone stopped rattling now, and I assumed it ran off because of Diva's outburst. I grabbed it, and it started shaking again, but this time, I tugged back. This Hercules mouse started to resist. Is that rocky we music? we a game of tug-of-war. World star? Da, 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 this is one go tab. I need some help. You sure Get do. Hey, listen, Tabs. I'm gonna go ahead and make a go for me. It's gonna be titled, Help you This Poor Starving Homeless Girl Fighting a Mouse Over rat. a Damn Chicken Bone Because She Really Needs Food That Bad. Well, it didn't matter anyways, because after three come minutes, come minutes I got me that bone. Ha -ha, victory! Yeah. Guys, got one the victory! Yeah. You kick Woo. Mickey Mouse's abs. Go Tabs! 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 Another holiday I spent with mice was on Halloween of 20... It's it's been a while. After uh, trick or treating, okay. I had this nice massive outfit, bag of candy I worked so damn Mostly hard for. Veggies. From the gushers to the apples hey. with the shiny pretty needles sticking out of them. Oh, I dropped the bag no. on the floor, which was just the stupidest decision ever. And a rat in the got into it. I heard a scuffle yep. in that bag. You got ratatouille. Up, I rubbed my eyes and said, Oh my dearest, sweet ratatouille time. Of mine. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Bro, is that you? Are you swiping my goods again? Like she has a bad relationship no with her brother. Or My eyes soon adjusted to the darkness, and I saw the bag shuffling back and forth. Oh nah, hell nah! I worked too damn hard for Jerry and his Not squad to rob all the sweets. <laughs> but I have a dilemma. Jerry's like, yeah, See, we I don't take it get over. Out of bed because I might step on the mouse by accident Ugh. and hear a squeak and then a pop. Like who wants that? Ugh. So I just laid back down like a candy cuck, listening to them feast on my candy. <laughs> yeah, just... there goes the Jolly Ranchers. Oh, wow. the crunch bars. Well, that's that. Yep. Guess I'm throwing the whole damn bag away in the morning. And surprise, surprise, they left the Twizzlers perfectly untouched. Damn. So in my house, we used one of those glue traps because my parents are 500% non-tolerant of pests. 
I know some of you PETA peeps think glue traps are cruel and all, but if they're released, they always find some little crevice to come back in to steal our chips and pastas. And since exterminators are expensive to hire, my Fuck. parents decided to take matters into their own hands. My dad cried. especially tends to stick to his savage, old-fashioned ways, since he couldn't give a do-dong-dilly shit about any trespassers. To show you a nicer and what? less graphic example of how he takes care of these pests, I will be using this squeaky lemon instead of this mouse here to demonstrate the gruesome details. Oh no. Uh, so, uh, when my dad hears one of these mice, I mean lemons, he would assume lemons? he caught one of them in the kitchen, pulls the trap out from under the fridge, hold the glue trap once, drop it on the floor, Ugh. and step on it at least 20 times. Wow! And just from the other room, you'd stop whatever you were doing Sonic's because you'd like, randomly whoa. hear... Uh, uh. Walk into the kitchen like, Pops, what did you do this time? Oh my lord. Don't it, worry about it. I took care of it. Is it yeah, that serious, I think you did bro? a little more than take care of it. But tone it down a bit next time. Compared to my dad, though, I handle these guys a bit differently. A few years ago, I heard a mouse around 10 p.m. at night. Nobody but my brother and I were home, and since okay. he absolutely cannot stand mice because he's a disinfectant neat freak, he huh? told me I had a visitor real. in the kitchen. So I went to pull the mouse trap out from under the fridge. Spare me, please. I got a family. I'll do anything. <laughs> oh, well, this is it. I'm gonna die here. First, there was Jerry, Nibbles, and now me. <laughs> Goodbye, cool At least Remy's still alive. Three minutes later, I came down with a sketchbook and a pencil case. Well, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. You going to read to him? You going to sketch him? Mm -hmm. Alexa, play music for focus. Now playing music for focus on Spotify. What the fudge? You going to draw? That's oh, okay. I spent half an hour drawing this mouse before my brother came into the kitchen like, Why you sit on the floor like a hobo- <laughs> Can you throw it <laughs> oh, I've never seen him disappear so fast. Here's the drawing I did of the mouse, by the way. Nice. Afterwards, I tried to scrape him off outside using a little vegetable oil. Some fur ripped off, but he was free. Probably had no plans of coming back here anyway. I ain't coming and back. And this final story takes place a few months ago. But this is exactly why you should nice. walk around with nightlights at thing, home Tess. instead of the pitch black darkness. While thing. I was walking into the living room after waking Waking up, I stepped on something very warm and furry. Please be a nug boot. Please be a nug boot. Wait, oh, ew. No, I don't have bugs. Oh, no. What was that? God damn it, it's a rat. You know that chilly, tingling feeling that starts from your toes to your head? And not the good kind? Yeah. I felt that. Listen, I got yeah. nothing against mice. I think there's some fine looking animals besides the tails and nasty infections they can spread around. You could say they're the equivalent to furry cockroaches. Uh, I've come to terms that yes. I'll be living with these guys for the rest of my Crazy life. Rat and lady. that's fine as long as they don't touch the bed. All right, I actually, I'm torn if I like this more than gangster relatives, but this was actually pretty good too. I really like this one, you know, because I've had my fair share of rats. Dealing with them, but I'm also look. I grew up with Tom and Jerry and Ratatouille and all the all the rat friends. So I, I kind of I'm in the middle, you know. I'm in the middle. I mean, how would you guys handle if a rat came into your house? Would you let it go? Would you kill it? I'm in the middle. There are I, I I think there's some rats I let go based on the circumstances, depending on how much food they eat. If they eat my food. You got it down. Down. Don't touch my muffins, or you will become my muffin, if that makes any sense at all. But, um, yeah, tell me how would you deal with a rat infestation if you can, would you? I mean, I like how Tab's handled this. She just took it out and sketched it. That's, that's kind of cool. And then let it go. Uh, I mean, that rat was lucky. So, you know, yeah. Enjoy this video. Moving on to the next one. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. We are heroes.